Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Today, we will chat about one of the most common illnesses you'll encounter in pediatrics, otitis media. It's so common, it accounts for more than 30 million clinic visits each year. In this video, we'll use Amelia, Otitis Media, Earhart, and her crashed ear plane as a way to depict information about ear infections in kids. For this sketch, we'll be focusing only on acute otitis media, or AOM. This is just a fancy term for an ear infection. AOM is characterized by bulging of the tympanic membrane, or TM, aka the eardrum, along with signs of middle ear inflammation. Let's take a minute to review some ear anatomy. The middle ear space includes three ossicles behind the TM, the stapes, incus, and malleus, and the eustachian tube, which connects the middle ear space to the back of the nose. The typical storyline of AOM is that a kid gets a viral URI, which creates a bunch of inflammation, edema, and secretions in the nose which block off the eustachian tube. Secretions build up in the middle ear and cannot drain. This becomes the perfect breeding ground for viruses and bacteria that live in the area, typically respiratory pathogens, to enter the middle ear and grow, leading to AOM. Our kid in the bottom left here has his fingers in his ears, trying to block out the pain from his blocked eustachian tube, and also the noise from Amelia Earhart's earplane. Fun fact, AOM is actually the most common reason antibiotics are given to children. See our number one antibiotic pill bottle making up the hull of the earplane? This makes it super important to understand how to diagnose it and treat correctly.